question number 566 select the feature shared by astrocytes and neurons that is we have to find the common feature of both astrocytes and neurons let us see the options number one both are excitable cells this is incorrect as astrocytes are neuroglial cells whereas neurons are excitable cells let us see the next option both can generate threshold stimulus this is an incorrect statement as neither astrocytes nor neurons can generate threshold stimulus number three both can constitute the blood brain barrier this is also incorrect as blood brain barrier is constituted only by astrocytes and not by neurons number four both are structural cells of cns this is the correct statement as neurons are structural and functional unit of neural tissue and astrocytes are neuroglial cells which contribute to formation of structure of neural tissue. So a common feature between astrocytes and neurons is that they are both structural cells of central nervous system. So the correct answer becomes option number 4. Moving on to the next question students. Question number 167. Parkinson's disease characterized by tremors and progressive rigidity of the limbs is caused by a degeneration of neurons that use the neurotransmitter. Let us see the options. Acetylcholine, endorphins, dopamine and glutamate. Over here, dopamine is a catecholamine whose deficiency causes Parkinson's disease and whose excess causes schizophrenia. Deficiency of acetylcholine causes Alzheimer's disease. Glutamate is generally excitatory neurotransmitter of the nervous system. So the correct answer becomes option number 3 that is dopamine. Let us see the next question students. Question number 168. Read the given statements. Statement A. The axons of invertebrate animals such as squids have no myelin sheath. This statement is correct as invertebrate animals like squids they lack myelinated neurons. Statement B. The lack is compensated for by having axons of a very large diameter. This also is a correct statement as increasing the diameter of axon increases the speed of impulse conduction. That is the cross sectional area of a nerve fiber is inversely proportional to the resistance. Therefore, this option is also correct. Now, let's read. Select the correct option. Only statement A is correct. This is incorrect as both statements are correct. Statement B is incorrect. This is also incorrect. Number 3. Statement A is incorrect but statement B is correct. Also incorrect. Number 4. Both statements are correct. This is the correct option. So, the correct answer becomes option number 4. Let us see the next question students. Question number 169. In the resting state of neural membrane, diffusion due to concentration gradients, if permitted, would drive. We know that at rest, ICF or the axoplasm is negatively charged 
whereas the ECF is positively charged. So in a resting state, if diffusion were allowed, then due to the presence of excessive sodium ions outside, diffusion would occur of sodium ions inside the cell if permitted. So diffusion due to concentration gradient would permit the entry of sodium into the cell. So this is the correct option. Number two, sodium out of the cell is incorrect as sodium is present in high concentration in ECF and not in ICF. Number three, potassium into the cell. This is also incorrect as at rest more potassium is present in ICF as compared to ECF. So if diffusion had to take place, potassium would move out of the cell. Number four, only negatively charged proteins out of the cell. This is also incorrect as along with negatively charged proteins, potassium ions would also move out of the cell. So the correct answer becomes option number one. Proceeding to the next question students. Question number 170. An electrical synapse differs from a chemical synapse as Number 1. Former is unidirectional while later is bidirectional. This is incorrect because all the impulses whether electrical or chemical are uni directional as only dendrites can receive the impulse. Number two, latter has wider synaptic clefts than former. This is a correct statement as synaptic clefts are present in chemical synapses whereas Electrical synapses contain gap junctions. Option number three, former employees use of neurotransmitters. This is incorrect as it is latter that is the chemical synapse which employs the use of neurotransmitters. Number four, latter utilizes presence of gap junctions to release chemicals into clefts. This is incorrect as there is exocytosis of the synaptic vesicles which releases the neurotransmitters in the synaptic cleft. So, the correct answer becomes option number 2. Moving on to the next question students. 